أناجي الحق في ليل لهي من أصدق النجوى وأدعو الله من قلب سليم يطلب التقوى أناجي الحق في ليل لهي من أصدق النجوى وأدعو الله من قلب سليم يطلب التقوى Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum And welcome to another edition of Perspective My name is Faisal Patel President Jacob Zuma has described Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's official state visit as a truly historic occasion for South Africa Zuma held private talks with Abbas at the union buildings in Pretoria where he joined world leaders in condemning Israel for defying calls that it ceased building new settlements in occupied Palestinian land. I also happened to be at that press briefing in Pretoria and now to tell us more about Mahmoud Abbas's visit to South Africa in studio tonight we have the Palestinian ambassador to South Africa, Abdel Hafiz Nofal. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Welcome as Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. First question that uh, we want to talk about this evening is what prompted President Mahmoud Abbas's visit to South Africa? How did it all begin? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know that the visits happened after the Israeli aggression on Gaza. Yes. After the donors meeting in Cairo. Mm -hmm. After the failed negotiation. Uh, and the visit was, I mean, to send a different messages. One of them to thank South Africa, yes. the people and the leaders mm -hmm. for their support, for their position. During the aggression in Gaza, I think you are witness, we are witness all yes. that South Africa, the people, the solidarity group, the parties, the alliance, the government, mm -hmm. all this and with the Palestinian. Yes. And from the day one, the President Zuma at the parliament at Cape Town, they had two things very important. First of all, he sent a special envoy Yes. to the area yes. to support Palestinian people, to meet the President Mahmoud Abbas, the Prime Minister, the leaders, and to send a concern letter to Israeli side. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, he sent an official invitation to President Mahmoud Abbas to come to discuss the bilateral relation and what South Africa can do yes. in, this, in this issue. In the meantime, uh, I mean, um, the people in South Africa, the parties, as I mentioned, the, so the, I mean, uh, the com different communities, they support the Palestinian cause in all levels. Mm. At least I participate in more than 36 activities here yes. during the aggression. Uh, really, and I and even even I mentioned it during the the big uh, uh, march at Cape Town, if you remember very well, there is more than 200,000 uh, participants. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I, I through my speech during my speech I mentioned that uh, most Arab countries must be ashamed for what happened in South Africa. Of for all this together, Mahmoud Abbas, is, President Mahmoud Abbas, uh, came here uh, to send a thanks to the South Africa, to the President Zuma, to the South African people, and to discuss the bilateral relation. What can we do? Which role can South Africa play in the future relation? Mm -hmm. uh, what we can, how we can enhance our bilateral relation? and what we can do in the future, the peace process. Of course. Of it's course. the purpose. Right. The now, Mahmoud Abbas, I mean, it, it was a whirlwind tour to South Africa. I think he only stayed two days, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, true. Do you think maybe he could have stayed a little longer and engaged with South Africa, who is, especially the Muslim community, who are fervent supporters for the freedom of Palestine? Maybe he could have stayed a little, a little longer and engaged with the Muslim community on a, on a larger uh, level? It's true. It's true, you are right, but I think we have a time. Yes. Uh, the problem was that Mahmoud Abbas, he, the President Mahmoud Abbas, he left the 27 uh, at the middle of the day yes. to the Cairo because there is a very important meeting for the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Arab countries yes. regarding to discussion two things. One of them that uh, the ways and possibilities uh, to handle the question of resolution of the Security Council vis-a-vis mm. -vis Palestinian uh, yes, yes. cause. And the second thing, uh, I mean, which kind of support can Arab countries make for the Palestinian? Mm -hmm. Therefore, it was very important meeting in Cairo at the evening of 27. Yeah. Yes. But uh, we hope, we believe mm -hmm. that Mahmoud Abbas, he believed that South Africa is the second uh, homeland for the Palestinian. Absolutely. And we, we believe in that. That I believe that he will come again, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah he will come inshallah. again. And we now, have a possibility to meet with the, the Muslim community. Absolutely. Now, we're going to speak about the unity government at the moment. How is the government of national unity 
coming together. There isn't much news emanating from Palestine at the moment. Um, I think it's very, very vague. Um, your comments on that? Uh, my message is the following. Yes. Uh, I mean, you know, after seven years of split, after seven years of problem, after seven years of Israeli siege on Gaza, yes. uh, our main message, and the President Mahmoud Abbas message was the following, mm -hmm. that they no more split in Palestine. Yes, yes. Unity government, it's a long lasting. But there are some problems, you know, there is still a siege in Gaza. Mm -hmm. There is still the closing, closing borders in Gaza. Yes. There is closing checkpoints. There is still, I mean, uh, the donors meeting. Uh, there is uh, not enough resources up to now yeah. to rebuild Gaza again because of the Israeli position, right, the situation. Therefore, I mean, all this together yeah, create not very suitable environment mm -hmm. for that. But I tell you, I tell the community, I tell the people that the reconciliation is a long lasting in Palestine and inshallah we are united against the occupation, against Israel. We are determined to reach our rights and the only way to reach our rights is when we be unity and we decided to do that. Absolutely. Now this government of national unity uh, between Fatah and Hamas, obviously it's irritating the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. How are you people dealing with this particular, because he's aggravated because uh, there's a unity between the two governments, uh, between the two organizations. How are you dealing with the negative sentiment from, from the Israeli Prime Minister? By the way, it is uh, the government, it's not Fatah, not Hamas, <laughs> nor Hamas. Yeah. It is uh, from the Palestinian, uh, I mean, um, different people from the Palestinian community, from technocrat, yeah. no Fatah, not Hamas. But to your consideration, from the day one, yes. Netanyahu sent a very strong message mm -hmm. saying he thinks to Mahmoud Abbas, you should choose between Hamas and peace. Yes. But Mahmoud Abbas, what he's answering him, mm -hmm. I think the main question should be between the freedom and the occupation. Of course. And we decided to the freedom. <laughs> the freedom is yes. to, to create a new cabinet, of the course. new government between Fatah and Hamas, and we determine on that. And by the way, the result of this cabinet, it is an aggression on Gaza. Mm -hmm. Because Absolutely. the price of this cabinet was an aggression on Gaza. Uh -huh. But even though we decided to handle all, the, all this issue, and in, 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 in instead to go with what is ready they want. Okay. Now, briefly on, on the whole Rafah crossing, uh, we know that some, the Gaza Strip is still being closed, uh, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip are still being denied access through the Rafah border. Um, maybe if they open up this border, we can get more access, more aid, more assistance to uh, the Palestinian people, especially now after the Gaza war. I agree with you. Because the only gate uh, with the international community, with the other world, is either through Israel, our yes. enemy, or through Egypt, yes. through Rafah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Uh, there is a problem. There is a problem. But I mean, uh, as I mentioned before, Egypt continue to be our neighbor for Absolutely. tomorrow after tomorrow after 2000. We mm -hmm. should find a way. Mm -hmm. There are small problems. And during the presence of uh, Mr. President Mahmoud Abbas here, uh, during his discussion with President Zuma, yes. uh, they, they also touched the relation between South Africa and Egypt and uh, all these things. And we believe that it's all, all these th things will be serve yes. uh, our, our, our vision, how to keep Rafah open. We understand there are some problems in, uh, with the fundamentalist in Sinai. Yes. It's reflective negatively in the opening Rafah, but we determine as uh, as a state of Palestine, uh, never mentioned the Fatah and Hamas, we determined that Rafah uh, continue to be the main uh, crossing port between Egypt and the international community and our people in Gaza. And we believe that uh, our brothers in Egypt, they should find a way how to keep Rafah uh, open uh, to serve Palestinian people, to serve Palestinian civilians in Gaza, inshallah. All right, inshallah. Now, does the Palestinian Authority recognize the support and call for international civil society, particularly, to boycott and divest from Israel? Uh, sure. I think, uh, I mean, uh, my job before I, I, I came as ambassador here, I was a deputy minister of economy in Palestine. Yes. Uh, the, I mean, uh, the boycotting system designed by me yes. 
our ministry mm -hmm. uh, and the idea was uh, I mean the international community recognize Israel within the border international community within the border of 67 mm -hmm. which means they didn't recognize any Israeli activity within West Bank and yeah. Gaza therefore uh, the boycott is again the settlement it's become now uh, 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 you know it's become now it's, it's international rules mm -hmm. if you are going what happened now in Europe yes. in Britain in Germany in Netherlands in France where the huge even Jewish community you know mm -hmm. there is there is the European there are developed which we call the European guide yes. not only settlement products only all activities related to the settlement products like water like electricity like investment like education mm -hmm. which means which means i mean it's becoming an an an, an very open ways an open gate again yeah. the settlement products uh, and even in israel some israeli community again the settlement okay. products therefore therefore i mean we highly appreciate what happened in south africa mm -hmm. we highly appreciate what i mean we are with bds who are working together in this yes. issue we highly appreciate what they are doing and what they did up to now. We need more, sure, exactly. regarding other activities, as right. I mentioned, the investment, the, the electricity, the water, the, any activities. But in the meantime, okay. we highly appreciate what they did up to now. Exactly. We, this evening, we're speaking to Abdul Hafiz Nawfal. He's the Palestinian ambassador, and we're discussing Mahmoud Abbas's visit to South Africa. We're going to go for a break. After the break, we will continue with this interesting discussion. Stay tuned to Perspective. أصدق النجوى وأدعو الله من قلب سليم يطلب التقوى إلهي صرت في ظرف عصيب فاكشف البلوى فيا رب Welcome back to Perspective. This evening we're speaking to Abdul Hafiz Nawfal. He is the Palestinian ambassador to South Africa. And what we're discussing is President Mahmoud Abbas's visit to South Africa. I happen to be at the Union Buildings. I happen to be at Safako Magatho House in, in Pretoria. And I covered that particular story uh, for, for ITV as well. Now, before the break, we were speaking about uh, the BDS. Do you support the BDS and the boycott of Israeli products. And why I say this, there is sentiment going around that you do not support. Maybe you can reassure our viewers. No doubt of that. I mean, I mean, politically, we, are, we, are, we, are, we have a law yes. against the settlement of products. And all the international community, even with the United States, mm -hmm. very good alliance with Israel. Yes. Now there are big change in this issue regarding to boycott settlement of products. Mm -hmm. But if the BDS and other, uh, and other uh, production want to, I mean, to increase the boycott for Israeli products, mm. we have no problem. Absolutely. We highly appreciate. Mm -hmm. the contrary, yeah. we highly appreciate. Even in Ramallah, a lot of times there's a lot of Palestinian uh, they, they burn Israeli goods in Ramallah. Mm -hmm. We have, I mean, for, for the, with the social community, uh, we have no problem on that. Yeah. Politically, we divided that we have no, uh, I mean, we are not intervening uh, in, in South African uh, in local issues of course um, to impose uh, that we need that we need for but regarding the settlement products mm -hmm. um, President Mutabas was clear with President Zuma that it's against the law and we need an official position from South Africa against the settlement products Absolutely. and it's exactly what BD is asking us mm -hmm. that we need an official from South Africa African president against the settlement products yes. and we did that but if there is any other activity to increase the by quoting well, I appreciate okay. it. There's no problem. All right. Now, there has obviously been a collapse in negotiations between Israel and Palestine. What happens now? Uh, unfortunately, uh, there is a collapse in negotiations. And I think you, you know that uh, we have a resolution in the Security Council. Yes. And uh, now it's in the process to make a voting on that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, uh, up to now we are going uh, we are in process together nine countries yes up to now we have a seven I'm not going to, to nominate but we have a seven yes. there is two countries we are in process to negotiate on that uh, but if there is the resolution will be uh, at the end of this year uh, for sure we have more than ten mm -hmm. because there's a new four five new countries like Angola like uh, I mean um, uh, Chile, some, some friend countries. Yes. And they here, uh, we believe that the Americans, they try to avoid themselves to make a veto. 
Yes. Because you know, the alliance against ISIS and, 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 and the area, they don't to make a certain confrontation with some Arab countries. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are going to make certain pressure on some countries to not to vote on that. But yes. it is very important things. If we are, we are, what are we asking? We're asking the international protection for Palestinian people. Mm -hmm. If the American going to the veto, or if we couldn't reach a nine countries, mm -hmm. we are going immediately for the international organization. Absolutely. For ICC, Geneva Convention, Rome Convention, and others. All right. Now, one thing that, that's really concerning me, I've seen a documentary on, on one of the major TV networks. Uh, I'm not going to mention them by name. Uh, they were speaking particularly about collaborators in Palestine that sometimes give Israel information regarding Palestinian leaders. How do we stop these collaborators from giving pertinent information so that the Palestinian Authority or the Palestinian fighters who's fighting this fervent cause do not get jeopardized? You are speaking about security cooperation. Yes. Uh, it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, to be frank with you, it's starting more 10 years ago uh, from the time, of, uh, the time of Clinton, which we called, which we called uh, Tenet Concept. Yes. What we are saying about law and orders, good practice. I mean, there are some rules has been designed mm -hmm. to do together, me and the Israeli side. Uh, but now we are on the, on, on the situation that if the negotiation will be failed totally, yes. if the, I mean, uh, there, there is no uh, chance to get a, a resolution from the Security Council, yes. even this cooperation will be stopped. Mm -hmm. And Mahmoud, President Mahmoud Abbas mentioned this is here, mm -hmm. and it's mentioned by the media in Ramallah, and it's mentioned in Cairo dur through the, uh, the, during the, 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 the meeting with the foreign mini Arab foreign ministers. Yes. That even in security cooperation, yeah, we are, uh, it's, it's a threat that we are, that we are going to stop it immediately. All right. Now, um, the tension in between Palestinians and Israelis uh, can be cut with a knife at the moment. Uh, we know in recent weeks we've seen that Al Aqsa was being blocked. Uh, people couldn't read the Juma Salah or they couldn't read Salah at all. Mahmoud Abbas was quoted as saying, this, is am this amounts to a declaration of war. Are we going to see another conflict? I will tell you um, frankly in this issue. Yes. First of all, all the Palestinians on the top, President Mahmoud Abbas, we are determined to reach our rights. Yes. We are determined to reach our state. Mm -hmm. we are de there is no way, there is no way for Israel, I mean, to, 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 to play in between on this issue. Yeah. But in the meantime, we are living with international community. Mm -hmm. We believe in the international community. We will be part tomorrow as a Palestinian state with the international community. Course, yes. We want to enhance our relation with, 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 with other countries. Therefore, we are working in a different service. One of them, to be part of the international community as laws and orders and regulations and, and, and everything. In the meantime, we are trying to send a strong message that we need our rights. And Israel agree or not agree. And what happened in Jerusalem mm -hmm. is a strong message for everybody. Absolutely. What? That after more than 50 years of occupation, mm -hmm. after then more 50 years of depression from uh, different levels, yes. still the Palestinian people believe in the future, believe in Al-Aqsa, believe in their state, and they deny the occupation. Okay. Briefly, when Mahmoud Abbas was in South Africa, there were three trade agreements that was signed between South Africa and uh, Palestine. Can you give us a brief discussion about we it? We are going to sign more agreement. Mm -hmm. I mean, these three, three agreements was, uh, the first one uh, was, uh, a high, uh, high committee yes. uh, between uh, the two countries. The second, the political consultation, and the third, uh, uh, high education. Yes. But uh, we are in process also to have an, an, an agriculture, and health, and others. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe uh, that we are determined to go to a new era in relation. Uh, we believe that we are a Palestinian, we have a different in our life. In spite of politics, on, I mean, in, in everything that we are, I mean, uh, separation wall, confiscation land, everything, but I mean, we have other life. Of very course. very dynamic community, yes. we are a very dynamic society. I will give me two minutes to explain mm -hmm. that maybe nobody knows that the biggest group for marble and stone all over the world is not Spanish, uh, not Italian, it's a yes. Palestinian. Mm -hmm that we have in Palestine more than 10 pharmaceutical factories have the GMP, yes. which we are, we are exporting the medicine to Europe, mm -hmm. to Germany, yes. to Netherlands, to Russia, to other countries. Mm. 
we have a bigger group called CCC, Construction Consolidation Company. Yeah. It is number 14 all over the world and number one in the Middle East. Yeah. Not Saudi, not Kuwait, not Egyptian, it's Palestinian. Of course. I mean, which, means, which means we can make a difference in our life. Oh. We need our state with the Dermin and we believe that South Africa can play a very important role to create a new Absolutely. Palestinian state in the future, yeah. inshallah. We've just got a few minutes left. Uh, your last thoughts and comments uh, to our viewers? Uh, during my, uh, as, 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 as ambassador of Palestine, during my capacity, uh, during the, the last year, uh, you know, as I mentioned before that, uh, what happened in South Africa, and supporting Palestinian people, Palestinian yes. rights, really, I didn't uh, face in anywhere, even in Arab countries. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I am here, I mean, uh, to enhance relation between Palestine and South Africa to we people of South Africa and Palestine. Yes. Now we believe that the main message for the South African people, uh, even to the Muslim community, yes. uh, if it's possible to shed the Rahal to Jerusalem, it's a time now to do that. In the meantime, we have appreciate the position of South Africa, the leaders, the people, the everybody in South Africa, black and white, you know, okay. we highly appreciate their position, their support, and we believe in the future we believe in our friend, and on the top of our friend is South Africa. Absolutely. Master Abdel Hafiz Nafal, absolute pleasure to have you on Perspective this evening. And I, I'm sure most of our viewers will make dua, and inshallah we will see a free Palestine one day. Inshallah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of another edition of Perspective. Remember, you can interact with me by sending me a mail on faisal at itvnetworks.tv. You can even drop me a tweet on at fazy143, or you can comment on my Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash Faisal Patel. From myself, Faisal Patel, and the magnificent team here at ITV, Fi Amanillah, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullahi, Wa Barakatuh. أناجل حق في ليل لهي من أصدق النجوى وأدعو الله من قلب سليم يطلب التقوى أناجل حق في ليل لهي من أصدق النجوى وأدعو الله من قلب سليم يطلب التقوى ظرف عصيب فاكشف البنوى فيا ربي انا عبد لرد الطيب لا يقوى